Hello lovelies, this is Leslie from the Not Quite Enough Distance vlog. How are we? Hope you're all well. Thank you for all the comments, all the um, the feedback, uh, for liking the yarn that I'm plying. I haven't started knitting anything with it yet. This is as at Sunday afternoon. Um, yeah, just great to hear how you're all doing. It's Sunday the 14th which is Mothering Sunday in the UK so I hope all mums are being spoilt rotten. Uh, I am the mother of a dog and the dog showed how much she loved me by refusing to get out of my chair this morning. Hmm. Never mind. We love her anyway. Um, it's been a fairly busy kind of day or two. I've made another panel for my blanket. I'm going to try and do one every week to kind of keep the momentum going on this one. They don't take that long to make but uh, I do like to have a break because of the risk of shoulder injuries and I think it was Rebecca was asking can you do flat panels rather than tubes and yes you can but I haven't yet perfected the technique. Um, as you turn on the machine, you flick a switch and it, it you can turn it both ways. It, um, it doesn't hold the tension in the same way. When it's going round and round, this kind of holds itself all together. Whereas when you're going backwards and forwards, you haven't got that same tension. So I need to, to practice at that with a little bit of adding a weight on the edges so that it keeps the pressure on to keep it taut so that it doesn't then pop off stitches, which is what I've found in the past so so yes it is possible although I'm happy for this to be a super thick chunky cuddly snuggly sort of blanket so happy to carry on with the tubes on that one but thank you for the question I have got some yarn acquisition haven't bought any <laughs> this is thanks to the lovely Kellyanne thank you very much my lovely um I saw her in a responsible socially distanced fashion and she'd been sorting out some stash, come across some cotton yarn that she, some she'd tried to use and the projects hadn't turned out as she hoped so um, she thought I know someone who could always find a use for yarn. So I've got two balls of Katia Bombay, two balls of Katia de Grade and a ball of Rowan Cotton Glacé. So thank you Kellyanne, I will find a use for this very soon, in fact the yellow I might find a use for very quickly depending on how much time I have. So that's all good. Um, I also have a finished object. Now things don't always go smoothly. I'm going to insert a couple of little bits here to show what I mean. This is the face of someone who is sewing up a very small baby jacket who has managed to put one of the sleeves in the wrong way round so took it out and has realised that the other one is the wrong way round so that means that one was probably fine. There are two seams in the hood one of them is the right way round one of them is the wrong way round this is the face of someone who's really not very happy. So it's probably going to go and take the dog for a walk. Hmm. And this is the face of someone who's glad that she also knows how to crochet so she can cover up the exposed seam with a little bit of crochet that matches in with the trimmings. That's made me a lot happier, but I still need to walk the dog. Yes, I wasn't a very happy bunny yesterday afternoon. Entirely my own fault. I was just having a complete mare putting these sleeves in. They are straight sleeves. <sighs> and you know you reach that stage where you think, what I should do is put this down, walk away, go and do something else, come back to it with fresh eyes and without the frustration having built up, letting that all kind of dissipate away and then I won't have any problem at all. That's what I should do. 
what I did do was get very cross. But it's done. My little jacket is done. So I've got my little um, crochet over the exposed seams. <laughs> Because, and having done that, I then decided to do a crochet trim all the way around. But this is the Billy Bear jacket because it's got little ears. Uh, it's a Sheepses sheepses pattern. <clears throat> I'm, apologies to my Dutch viewers because I'm I'm trying on this, but uh, and this be it so it's because it's a hoodie it's impossible to hold up and kind of show everything but here's the body with some little teddy bear buttons as well and here's the hood so so this be it so i'm going to put this in the post because i'm hoping to um see the baby in a few weeks but uh <laughs> Anything can happen, as we know, and also she may need this before I can see her. So I am getting this in the post. Um, I will talk about it at length in the month end podcast. But for very quick reference, the yarn is Patterns Fairy Tale Dreamtime Four Ply held double, and the edging is Caron Simply Soft. And this. Um, lighter colour is just some acrylic double knitting that I had in the stash. So there you go, the Billy Bear, who with that pointy bit looks like Billy Fox, but there we go, the Billy Bear hoodie. And I hope it keeps little one cosy. What does this week hold? Five ceremonies, one a day, That's that's kind of okay. Um, yes, it's kind of manageable, I think, because I haven't got a lot of else happening in terms of visits and calls and that sort of thing thus far. And yeah, I will take you along with me. It's quite nice weather. Um, oh, she said, and it's clouding up a bit now. It's been sunny but cold the last few days. And then when it has rained, it's really rained. And friends of mine in other bits of the country have had hail and I don't know, plagues of locusts, I don't know, it's just been bad. But bright here today, so let's hope that continues. And I hope that wherever you are, it's manageable and civilised too. <laughs> Cheers everyone, speak to you later. Hello lovelies. I feel I should apologise, I told you a lie earlier this week. I'm a bad person. Um, I said I had a ceremony every day. I don't. Today I have two. It's next week I've got a ceremony every day. So I am in my, what would you call it? Intra ceremony gap? Inter ceremony gap? I've just been to get a sandwich anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're both at the same crematorium, so that's quite handy because I don't have to go rushing from one place to the next and I can sit here listening to stuff and doing crochet and things and it's not pouring hard with rain as was forecast it's actually surprisingly warm and it was very warm in the crematorium <sighs> been to feel like summer but not in a good way so oh hello traffic yes so i am at the crematorium about to do some crocheting just had a minor panic <laughs> I got back into my car after going to the shop to get a sandwich and the clock on my car said six minutes past one and I thought oh goodness I'd better shift because you know that's getting to the time when I'd expect to be heading towards the crematorium and I checked on my watch and obviously can't tell the time despite the fact that a clock had struck 12 times I should know this stuff as I drove away it said six minutes past 12 so <laughs> I thought time had gone too quickly and it had. What's more worrying is that I didn't stop to check anything else or did I realise that what my watch was telling me didn't match the clock on the car. Life is a puzzlement. <laughs> anyway my lovelies you take care I'll catch up with you later. Hello lovelies it's Friday have a little FO to show you, which I will talk about in depth um, 
on the month end podcast or next weekend I think it is scary um I've made a little cowl I showed you I don't know if it was this week or last week some yarn that I was very kindly given by Kellyanne and I thought that I might have a plan for one of the balls of it and I did I have a ceremony coming up and the theme is yellow and I didn't really have any yellow accessories or much yellow yarn I don't know why because I like yellow I just don't have a lot of it in the stash so when this came along I thought oh how lovely so this is the lacy cowl I think it's the lacy grey cowl or something like that all the details will be um in the month end podcast but obviously for me it's the lacy yellow cowl that's by Kiku's Corner I think so here we go now one of my friends saw it so it looked like a daisy so <laughs> I've done a couple of different edgings <laughs> basically the two crochet edgings that I fall back on so there's the shell one there and the crab stitch or the backwards uh, double crochet there so it can go either way as so many things in life but hopefully that'll be a little bit of bright yellow well not very bright because it's quite a, a dull yellow but it'll be a bit of yellow for next week's ceremony it's it's an odd thing because I always say I'm not there to be seen I'm kind of invisible facilitator a phrase that's also a vocal warm-up if you ever need one invisible facilitator but um, <laughs> you do like to you know if someone says there's a particular color you do like to have just a, a little bit of it I'm not going to turn up in a yellow dress but it's nice to have a little bit of something so so that's the plan look I'm sorry if you don't like it Heidi but I'm going with it <sighs> she's very talkative at the moment it's a sunny day I think the sap's rising so so I hope everyone's okay um thank you as always for all your comments and all of your observations um I seem to have some uh, some new subscribers so just if you're watching this and you're thinking what is she talking about there are two kind of simultaneous threads on this channel at the end of each month the last weekend of each month I do the not quite enough yarn podcast which is all of my crafting adventures and every Friday not quite enough distance which started as a kind of corona vlog it started daily I didn't maintain daily Barbara of flame and fiber is coming up to her year so that is some stamina right there <laughs> But yeah, so we've got the kind of two threads on the same um, on the same channel. And at Christmas, it's not quite enough Vlogmas. Not quite enough is I've kind of adopted it as a brand for myself for some reason. So, so yes, that's um, for any new uh, watchers who are thinking I don't get the not quite enough thing. That's that's where it comes from. So, so yes, I've been watching some um, new podcasts, new to me, uh, Sweet Lavender Knits. That's Christine in Toronto. Davina, who is Little Workroom Crafts. And I've gone blank. There is another. I will talk about them on the month end podcast and um, put links in below then. So it's going to be a quiet weekend. I don't have a huge amount of work to do. This is because after next week, I'm off for a fortnight or as I've been singing it in my head all week one week more then I will have a holiday I know that I can't go away but people we won't see again their stories can get out my brain one week more I'll stop that so <laughs> it's I love my job I'm very privileged to do my job. Um, conducting funerals is an enormous honour. But the head gets very full with all these people's stories and anecdotes and their lives. And it just feels like there's too much going on and I need a bit of time just to kind of temper everything down. Get it all out of the short term memory into the abyss that is my long term memory. <laughs> I kind of just 
calm it down. So that's the plan. So this weekend, um, I don't know what, I think the forecast isn't that great. We've got a beautiful day here today. I've got washing on the line. This is a very exciting thing. If you're in the UK in the spring, getting washing dry on the line is quite exciting. Uh, mainly because we haven't got much else to do, but also it feels like the beginning of summer. So yes, I've got bedding out on the line and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> This is what my life has now become. So, <laughs> so this weekend I think there's going to be kind of cleaning, crafting, general pottering around. I mean, we're still not going anywhere, but it will be nice to not just be sitting at my desk. So that will be very good. And I hope that you are all having fun. I know some places in Europe are finding new restrictions. Others are finding fewer restrictions. So... I hope that everything's going in the right direction and everyone's feeling safe and secure. Um, vaccines seem to be rolling out. Just been hearing on the news there was a question mark over the AstraZeneca. Um, a question mark over whether it caused an increase in blood clots or an increased risk of blood clots. From all the evidence I've seen, I don't know where that's come from because the clotting rates don't seem to be any higher than in the general population and it does look as if that's now being um, re-approved in some places so hopefully that means that more folks will be able to get their vaccines if they want them and yeah we're all, all plodding on so a bright day will do good I think the clocks go forward this weekend if not I'm going to be very confused on Sunday I'm very confused most days, so that's nothing new. But you take care of yourselves. Have a good week. Um, look after yourselves. Keep well. Keep safe. Hope you have an opportunity to do the things that make you happy. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being part of this community. It means so much. Take care, everyone. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.